Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. Hope you're having a good day. Uh, what I want to show you right, real quick today, uh, for those of you that are a little bit behind, is how to actually go ahead and buy the stock in the virtual stock game. By the way, I'm up to number five. And but you know, we all knew that, right? We knew that was going to happen. Okay. So you know, don't don't be too surprised. Okay. So first things first, right? We go to MarketWatch.com. Okay, I'm going to take you through the whole everything, so please pay attention, and I don't want to hear why you didn't buy your stock. So first things first, you click right here, and if, if you've signed in and you've created an account and everything, it should say your name at the top. If not, please make sure you log in and then go back to this page and click Games. Okay? And now, you know, obviously, it's a little slow. All right, look at that. Not bad today. Okay, and so far we got 36 players. I know we could get some more players in here. So some of you are slacking. All right, now let's take a quick look at our leaderboard. Give those a shout out that are doing their thing. Okay, Ari, I see you. I see you, Whaler. Whoever this guy is, I don't know this guy. I see you, Ja. KD, Miss B, look at you. 16 trades and she didn't want to trade. All right, dope, dope, dope. So check it out now. You click here, and this is if you want to buy stock, okay? This is what I'm teaching you right now or showing you. I click here, and uh, we enter a company. And remember, this cannot be like, you know, Joe's Diner down the street or, or as a company, okay? It's not. It's got to be like a big company, okay? One that has an IPO, you know, meaning that they publicly trade stock, right, in the stock exchange. So... Let's go with a company that you guys, like, I don't know. I feel like we've always been dealing with these these um, companies all the time. Let's see if Walgreens has stock. Hmm. That might not be the real Walgreens. I don't know if that's it. How about, let's go with Johnson & Johnson, actually. Right? They just released their, um, what's it called? Their vaccine not too long ago. So here's Johnson & Johnson, right? Now, you could click trade right here and go buy the stock, but I'm going to show you a little how to do some quick research. Remember, I'm in fifth place. You want to make money, you want to lose money. So I'm here. Now from here, I can see the different times uh, that the stock has, you know, I can track the different times, right? So here on June 8th, I'm sorry, June 8th, on um, March 8th, it was at $158.09 at 3 p.m., right? I want to check a little bit further back. Let's go to a month, right? By the way, it's a month, three months, six months, year to date, one year, three years, and then the history of it. Peep this. Imagine if we had bought... Johnson & Johnson stock here, that was the lowest price it was at over the last month. That was at 153 Maybe that was like right before or after or something when they released that they had a vaccine. Remember, the way the company performs in real life does infect their stock, right? Oh, man, if we could have got it in January, you know, or sold it here, that would have been nice, right? Look at that, 150 So, you know, you remember, you want to buy low, sell high. That's the key, right? Now... If you want more info, you go to full quote page. That's how you check the dividends and stuff like that. You can add it to your watch list. You can add it to different. You can create an alert. Say you only want to buy the stock if it goes down to 155 or 159.01 or 158.50, whatever. You create an alert. It'll let you know when that happens, and then you can go buy the stock at the price that you want, right? For this purpose, we're going to say trade now. Now, I personally do not want any Johnson & Johnson stock. Okay, so I'm not actually going to buy it. But if I did own it right here, I'd get an option to sell it. Okay, I want to buy it. Now, you can sell it short too if you think the price is going to go down. That's a whole different topic. Say I want to buy 100 shares. Okay, I type it in right there. I make sure it's on good till canceled. I just confirmed this real quick just to make sure I didn't make a mistake. It's 159.07 a share right now. I'm buying 100 shares. There's that $10 commission fee. And that's how much it's going to cost total. Now, all I need to do is click Submit Order. And that's it. Make sure it's on good till canceled, right? And once you click that, you'll have your stock. And then once you buy it, you can click on Portfolio right here. And you can go and look at the stocks that you own. Oh, look at that. Ooh, it's a green day around here. Look at that. You know, we're trying to steal my stocks, all right? But remember, this is all public information. You can see it. Okay? So, guys, that's how you want to do it. Um, I hope you can go and use this to go buy some stock. And remember, once you buy it, 
Go to the assignment on Google Classroom. Please make sure you add it in there so you get the credit, okay? If you have any questions, contact me directly. I will see you guys manana. Bye.